Hello everyone, I am Dustin Childs, Head of Threat Awareness for the Zero Day Initiative. I'm here at Pwn to Own Vancouver 2023. I'd like to take you around and kind of show you what Pwn to Own is. It started right here at the CanSet Conference in 2007. We had a very simple conceit. There's a MacBook that we put on the network, brand new, completely up to date. Said if you pwn it, meaning if you exploit it, you get to own it. And from that, we've grown into a huge contest with more than three locations now, enterprise targets, consumer targets, industrial control systems. Let's show you what we've got at this year's contest. So this is our primary pwn to own room. And you can see we've got our main stage set up here. We've got some swag for people to take, some t-shirts, stickers, lanyards, etc. As you notice on the stage, we've got a clock here. That's because all of our attempts are timed. It takes, we have three 10 minute attempts within a 30 minute window. So if you don't get it within that time, well, those X's come out and your attempt's a failure. We also award what we call the Master of Pwn. This is the trophy for this year's event, leaning hard into that hockey theme. So essentially the team or the individual that gets the most points becomes the overall winner. They get to be the Master of Pwn. Everyone that wins this year gets a custom hockey puck though too. So that's pretty cool. We have a place for our audience to sit and enjoy themselves. And uh, it's a nice place to hang out. The contest is so large, we actually added a second room here with an entire second desk. Say hello, Peter. We also have areas for people to just hang out. We've got some video games this year for people to play. We've got some beverages for people to enjoy as they wait for the next attempt. So that's great. It's a nice area for people to relax and uh, enjoy the ponage. So now that you've seen the room, uh, let's kind of take a look at what uh, an attempt really looks like at Pondo. We were able to recreate our Tesla attempts this afternoon, and they're going to run all of their exploits at once. Here's what it looks like. So it doesn't exactly look like what you see in the showroom, but this is a Tesla. It's actually the head unit and what we use for testing purposes. It's actually a little dangerous to try some of these attempts on the actual vehicle. So we have a more confined, more controlled unit here in the Pwn to Own room that we're able to exploit. So now in a very special uh, edition of Pwn to Own, we are bringing back the Synactive team and Tesla. They're gonna try to combine their two attempts into a single attempt, and let's just see what happens. So far they've been very successful. That'll be really amazing if they can go from essentially very far outside to very deep inside of the vehicle. So gentlemen, go ahead and get started. Turning around the infotainment system so we can see it kind of on our side as well. And if you see the screen on the right there, that's kind of the CAN bus, which is some of the internals of the Tesla. As I mentioned, each of these attempts are normally timed with 10 minutes. Three 10 minute attempts within a 30 minute window. Of course, you don't have to use all 10 minutes, but some people do. Earlier than yesterday, I think it was about a minute and a half before they got their first exploit to roll. Today was about 30 seconds. So, definitely not surprising that it takes just a minute. Just saw the screen change and look at that there's now a new logo on the infotainment system so that's 
part of their chain already successful. we'd like to do this on the car itself, but there's just too many variables that would make it potentially dangerous for those around the vehicle, including the building the vehicle is parked by, so we don't want to take that chance. We prefer a nice controlled environment wherever we can. We don't want to be irresponsible with our research. I think we're still waiting on the final confirmation for the last exploit of the day. Okay, looks up. Oh, there it goes. Congratulations, that is it. That's fantastic. That's amazing. We've gone from the Bluetooth chipset to the infotainment system to the gateway. That is quite the exploit and not something you see every day. Oh, something you only see at Bond Node. So congratulations to Synactive. I think you're up to a total of half a million dollars of our money so far. So that's now your money as well as the Tesla. So congrats, guys, on a great contest, and we'll see you tomorrow. That was amazing. That combining that level of research, that's truly tremendous. So for those exploits that they just demonstrated, they won $350,000 and a Tesla Model 3, so that's pretty cool. Hey, thank you for joining me for a quick look at Pwn to Own Vancouver 2023, and I hope to see you again in the near future, maybe at a Pwn to Own coming up. See ya.